Arch Aviation, more news again today. My name is Liam, one of the Hustle Brothers. Do back the subscribe whether you're just in here. But yeah, today we have two things to talk about. One, we have that announcement around being the partner around the World Cup, um, the Super Bowl, and then we always knew about the Olympics. Look, the other two we knew it was in conjunction. Archer did say it a while back. The second thing we have... Something to talk around Palantir. I was calling for news around Palantir, and we got a little snippet out today by Adam, so we'll talk about that. But first, yeah, we'll talk about the World Cup. I'll bang it up there, the announcement. Yeah, World Cup 2026. Look, we're looking for June 26th. Normally when the World Cup kicks off, you'd want to be in there a little bit earlier than that. Now, big question that's going around the whole industry at the moment. We can't prove that we can vertically take off and land for the pilot on board. So how are we going to get to the World Cup? Now, this is where we need to put our thinking cap on. We need to be realistic with ourselves. Look, I've always said if they're going for a redesign, it could take around nine months to get that vertical lift um, demonstration on the way. Could it be the fact that, well, not could it be the fact, more or less it is going to be the fact that Them appearing at the World Cup is going to look like, in my eyes, exactly what Joby done in Osaka, exactly what Joby done in Salinas. I would be expecting it to be a demonstration flight going around for the public. Look, Joby done very well. They're executing second to none at the moment. They've been able to achieve their vertical lift with a pilot on board, full transition into the horizontal flights, and the Joby... Guys would love to hear me say this, but half propellers are not producing lift for them. Unlike the video I showed last day of Archer with the half propellers still spinning. But yeah, they done their full demonstration, hovered around the crowd, done a few rotations, and then vertically landed. Also, you were able to see the public get close to the S4. They were able to look inside it actually looked a little bit smaller than i anticipated but then a second picture came out where the pilot's chair was pushed forward into working position and it did look a little bit bigger so fair play to yes four fair play to joby but that's what i'd expect to see around the 2026 world cup it would be more or less demonstration flights for the public it would be get to know the midnight get inside the midnight Look, it's a little bit different than actually operating around Los Angeles, but it would build excitement. 2027 comes, you have the Super Bowl. Is this where we first start seeing our first sort of passenger flights? Would we get a few demonstrations of the passenger flights? It would build even more excitement for the Olympics coming up. And then, yeah, full rollout at the Olympics. That's what we would hope. That's what some people are expecting. That's what some people are banking on. Do let me know where you think is going happening around the World Cup. Look, great announcement, but at the same time, we always knew it was there. With that Olympics, we knew the partnership was always going to be with the World Cup. Look, SoFi Stadium's building a Vartaport there, so we always knew EVTOLs would be there in force. Look, the only thing that does scare me is, will Joby actually be supplying Evito public Evito trips at the World Cup. Would that take away from the midnight? I don't believe so, but I think all news is good news. Any media around the Evitals, as long as it's positive, is good for all Evito companies at the moment. But yeah, we did then get an a public statement from Adam Goldstein, I'll bang it up there. So look, Archer Aviation touches around eleven percent of GDP in the US. Now, Adam does believe that this is capped, and some people will be confused how it's capped, but it's capped due to current regulations in the likes of air traffic control and such. Look, Palantir, he believes, could help smoothen out things. He said it's not to do with replacing pilots, replacing air traffic controllers. It's about enabling them, giving them the tools for a more efficient system we know the air taxis will be running in air 
traffic corridors. That's why Archer has been demonstrating lately flights at 7,000 feet, flights at 10,000 feet. Yes, the air traffic corridors would be between 1,500 to 4,000 feet. That's where you can expect them to be. But in the event of, look, mass amounts of traffic inside these corridors, you need the ability to escape the corridor, get out there, prevent too much traffic from being in there. And that's why we like to see them flights at 10,000 feet, 7,000 feet. Look, we are going covering the earners call. Do smash that like button if you're going to be here for the earners call. No, do you know what? Smash that like button anyway, because it does help us grow in the algorithm. Right, if you want to see more about everything at VTOL, make sure to check out this video next.